Before Catalyte, I was a chemist. In college, I was a radio DJ. I went through training for the military. I've worked as a bouncer. I've worked as a ski lift operator. I was a Baltimore City school teacher. Busing, serving, managing, and I sold knives for a little bit. And now, software engineer at Catalyte. Now I'm a software engineer. I'm finally at Catalyte, working as a software engineer. I am now a software engineer at Catalyte. What really drew me to Catalyte? I really like the idea that there were people from all different backgrounds and a lot of women in the program. And that was really awesome and encouraging for me as well. There are a lot of people out there that didn't have the opportunity of studying software development. So it gives a chance for um, all ages and whatever your background is to join a career that you might be successful in. People like me who, who just felt like lost and didn't know where to go, didn't really know if I should go to college. Yeah, like Catalyte is a good answer to that. We live in a society, especially in America, where the cost of obtaining an education can bankrupt you, um, can ruin your life. There's plenty of people who are qualified, who have the skills, the talent, the potential to do any number of jobs successfully, but because they don't have the requisite certification, that opportunity is lost. Catalyte is another way, it's another opportunity. It's like a secret door. This pathway is available to you. I didn't want to do customer service all my life. I didn't want to be lifeguard all my life. The opportunity at Catalyte for me was a foundation. Like I'm only going to do more and bigger and better things from here, but I had nothing to stand on. You know, I had nothing going for me um, that, that you know, I could say to prove my potential or that I could use to actualize my potential. One thing that I love about Catalyte is that we take people from anywhere, any background. Judging people based on what they've done before, they can't do anything because they haven't demonstrated it, right? So you have to, at some point, take a chance, say, I think they've got this potential, I haven't done it yet, but I think they can get there. In 2006, when I started, I was still living in Section 8 housing with my mother. Today, you know, I own four houses and I own four cars and I travel the world. I can go where I want to go, when I want to go, thanks to Catalyte. I remember being on the dirt streets of Lagos, Nigeria, and now here I am, given the opportunity at Catalyte, and it's really been a blessing, it's an honor, and I'm very grateful to be here.